my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man. You get your goddamn ugly ass. Hey, what's up, man? 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 Hey,
as joining a club or, you know, going out to a bar. I mean, that's, you know, that's, it's not like that. Just the loneliness and feeling lonely it's so fucking debilitating, overwhelming, and it just takes up every part of me. Guys, I wanted to show this frame real quick, uh, and I'm going to tell Ampu to quit with the violin for a moment so you can see the full picture. Now, you can barely see it, but she has hand tattoos. She also has this chest tattoo. Like, you can probably assume that when this woman was younger, she was going to the clubs. You know, she was having her hot girl summers with her magnificent tattoos. She was riding the carousel. She was having all her fun. And she adopted this mentality that life is all about you, that you gotta choose yourself first. That there's time for everything, guys. And now we meet these consequences. Now, of course, I have to mention, I don't know. Some people may be surprised to learn that I'm not this woman's father or brother. I don't know her life in detail. I'm, I'm not her diary, right? I'm just making assumptions based on a person I just met a minute ago. Uh, but this is what I think. This woman just chose the hedonistic approach to life. And now she reaps the consequences. Because that's how life works. You invest in certain let's say paths in life you invest in certain behaviors and the more you walk that down the path of the behaviors you you choose to uh implement in your life the harder it is to get out of them right so it's really important as a person to to just choose the right path choose the path that will lead to where you want to be years from now the people who suffer the most due to their actions are people that don't think long term and they just do what they find best at the moment, right? I mean, think of it economically. Who do you think uh, is better off financially? The, the people who think about the future, about the bills that need to be paid, about the things that they want to save money for? Or do you think the, the, that financially the best people are the ones who decide to buy things on a whim or, you know, I want this right now, I need this right now, I'm going to buy it. I want this, I fancy this whole thing, I'm going to buy it right now. I don't even think about the end of the month, I don't even think about the next paycheck, I don't think about the bills that need to be paid or if I want to save for something that is bigger than uh, buying a, a taco right now. No, they, they, they just buy whatever they want at the moment, right? So which group do you think is better off financially? It's the same with these women, guys. There are women who plan for the future and you don't have to be Nostradamus, you don't have to, uh, you know, foresee the future, play 4D chess. No, the only thing you need to do is know what you want and actively go for it, right? Don't entertain the bad boys. It's that easy. It's not something complicated. It's just know what you want for the future. And on the other hand, we have the women who, you know, like to have their fun, let me say. And they often end like this one. I don't know if this one is the case, but they often end just like this one. Although they don't have the guts to admit it. Being single and living alone is great until you have to fix your ring floodlight cam because uh, you have to reconnect into your new Wi-Fi because your ex took your Wi-Fi when he moved out, but you have to have a code that's on the back of the device and you don't have the tool to get it off. Help. No, no, guys, I really don't like these women. These misogynistic, patriarchal women. Like, you're doing a disservice to all the empowered babes right now. You know, guys, this is just disgusting. We, we have all the boss babes, all the empowered ladies who have fought for their right to claim the independence title. And then this weak individual comes here because she cannot fix the internet or whatever. And she says that she needs a man. Guys, utterly disgusting, just revolting. The, an extremely un unpleasant situation right here. Let me tell you, boss babes, don't listen to this patriarchal woman. She's just weak. You're all modern and independent. You can fix things on your own. You can pay the bills on your own. You can do everything on your own, except secure a man, but most things on your own, right? So don't listen to this woman, please.
But now guys, let's move on to our last TikTok of the day. And this is a really short one. I just wanted to show you how these women swipe. Look at you guys. <laughs> just look at her go. Holy crap. Uh, where are all the good men? Now I muted this audio because there was some annoying song in the background. Uh, but uh, where are all the good men guys? Where are all of them? I can't find them. Meanwhile, you have these women just swiping left, like, like I don't know, like, like a r robot program to do that. I, I, I have to ask, because I don't use these dating craps, dating apps. I, is it possible to literally swipe left on all the available options that you have, or how does that work? If this one probably believes in a metropolis with like 2 million people, but still, if she keeps swiping like that, she's going to swipe left on all of them. So what happens then? Does the app um, just show her the same options again, or how does it work? But guys, enough about these uh, these women and their bad op and the bad choices. This is how they end up single, right? They they dismiss them all. The first woman that we covered, um, she she probably did this as well. Now back in her day, there were no dating apps, so I'm not thinking that she swiped left on half the city. Uh, but I think she just dismissed all of the good guys that were interested in her back in the day. And this is how she find her, found herself single, right? I mean, guys, I gotta tell you, it's, it's hard as a woman to end up single. Some people think that it's misfortune. Some people think that um, they were unlucky. But in reality, it takes effort to be a woman and become single, given the demand that there is for women, all right? They each day make choices uh, that lead up to the fact of them being single. But guys, now uh, I'll switch to the scene of the article of, about a woman that got rejected. First time I have ever initiated something and this is the response I get. Hashtag help. So you know it's a woman because a man will never write hashtag help. I've never directly asked someone who I am romantically interested in on a date. Nor have I ever been the first to admit feelings directly to someone. Mostly because of fear of rejection slash embarrassment slash being seen. So I presume on chat, right? Being left unseen. In trying to change that, I, 36 female, asked my co-worker, 36 male, for a coffee last week via text. While we work for the same company, he's in a different department within a large corporate office and our teams do not overlap. We've known each other for a few years now, mostly as acquaintances, but he's been hanging out more and more with my friend group. Most recently, since joining the company, he's around a lot more, and we chatted a bunch at a mutual friend's house party. I definitely felt some flirty vibes, and I think he's cute. Our mutual friend caught, um, caught on and mentioned to both him and me se separately that the other was single with a sort of wink-wink. He told me his response was positive and curious, as was mine. She also organized a little birthday weekend camping trip in Northern California the next month that he and I will be at, along with some of the friends. Fast forward to about a week later, I kept hoping he'd reach out, but never heard from him. So I took the plunge and asked him for a coffee via text. He responded quickly, and here's how the exchange went. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready for the massive rejection? Me. I'd love to get a coffee sometime you're interested let me know and we can and we can set something up him i'm not planning on being in town until after friend's birthday trip but definitely me okay sounds good excited for the trip that's it Th that's the rejection guys wow devastating groundbreaking you know when i was reading this story i was like okay here it comes <laughs> you know I was like, oh, this is going to be so sweet. And then, what? This is the rejection? Like, he literally ends his message with, definitely. Definitely, you're going to go on a date. Where is the rejection? The, like, the title makes you think that this is just this horrifying um, experience that left her crying in the dark corner of the room. And then, what? This guy says, oh, well, I'm not going to be in town uh, until then. But after that, definitely. But let's hear from her experience. To me... He seemed open, but also very nonchalant. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. 
to me, not super excited about this. I think my insecurities of being a little embarrassing slash being more excited than he is being activated, but I'm also having a little bit of anxiety on the upcoming trip and how to feel going into that, knowing I asked him to meet up one-on-one -on -one, and that was his response. Thoughts? Damn, guys, this, this little... It's not even rejection. Like, he didn't even reject you. I cannot say that there is this little aspect of rejection. He just... Uh, according to you, didn't seem extremely excited, excited, you know, jumping out of his pants already, uh, being so excited. But to me, this is like a normal response. Oh yeah, I'd like to go on the date, but I just won't be uh, in town. But after that, definitely. Like, men <laughs> will be telling all their friends if they got this response from a woman, right? Guys, this is just so hilarious. If women went through the amount of rejection that the average man goes through, um, I, I think they will just receive a heart attack. They will just receive a seizure and crumble to the ground and, uh, you know, fade into non-existence. Because <laughs> you have this one here that gets a not-so-exciting response and, and she's already trembling, you know, anxious about it. She decided to go on the internet and post and ask people about advice. Like, what did I do wrong? Uh, why didn't he... You know, act more enthusiastic. Holy crap, guys. This It's so funny. <laughs> I cannot tell you the amount of money I will pay to have the roles reversed for one day. I just want one day for men to just sit on their butts uh, acting cute in a, in a restaurant, club or something. And for women to have to make the first step, you know, and go there and try to be funny and entertaining... Uh, but not too pushy, but also, you know, uh, leading the situation to something else, buying drinks, setting updates, all that, uh, while women are in our soft guy era, and we just, you know, we, we, we just make demands. It will be so beautiful. <laughs> but guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the raid story. I hope you also enjoyed the TikToks. Leave a like and a comment if you did, and I'll be happy to next time. Have a good one.